Yo, what's going on guys, John and Chris here. We come back at y'all with another vid where we have it today. Bam, that's right. These are the Soulfly Jordan 1s. And man, oh man. This, we're talking about some big money right here. We're talking about, this is a dope shoot, for real. Like, I know, it's it's hyped. It's definitely hyped. I'm not gonna lie. It's definitely a big old hyped shoe. Uh, you guys already know the story of these. If you guys didn't know these, uh, released down in miami and a couple soul flight uh stores so and if i don't remember it was basically it was really insane the release people were pushing fighting through and they was doing first come first serve eventually they had to shut it down and of course these pair basically got backdoored i'm pretty 100 percent sure every pair got backdoored uh <laughs> but no it is what it is, it's all good. You know, I understand the business and I understand because of the value of the shoe, but if you guys are lucky enough to have these pair of shoes in hand, you gotta pay some good money on it, but is it well worth it? Mm, it's it's cool and all. Is it better than the uh, best ones that came out so far? Um, I mean, the, the price on these are actually the same as the amount as, the, like say, the Union ones. To me, is it better? I don't know, man. It's uh, it's it's cool and all, but I wouldn't say it's better than Union Ones. There's no, I don't, I wouldn't say all that, but I think it's still pretty cool, man. It's still, it's really, really nice, but it's just big. Like I said, it's big money. I don't see the price going down that hard. They dipped a little bit, but I don't see these things going less than like they're going for like what uh, 13 to 12 right now, depending on sizes. So. Yeah, but anyway guys, let's go ahead. Let's jump into this review real quick. Now uh, the number one question now since these shoes are worth so expensively much is the leather quality. Is it shadow backboard quality? Um, mm, it's okay. It's it's not shadow backboard quality at, by any means. It's cool and all. All right, so here it is. Check it out. Um, uh, like I said, the leather, how soft compared to the shadow backboard quality, I still say it's a lot more softer compare this more stiff this is really soft so and even you know the side panels as well and on the back panels is a little bit more softer compared to on the soulfly soulflies is cool and all the, the leather quality on these definitely remind me more on the the breads so i was trying to compare to every ones that i have and the only quality leather that i felt is pretty close to these were was the the breads close uh, these do feel better than the bread toes. I thought it was gonna be like more of the bread toe quality, but it's more of the 2016 band quality wise. Love that. If you guys couldn't tell, the shoe, the look, the color silhouette is basically it does resembles a lot of that Miami Heat, you know, Hurricane University in Miami. It definitely has a Miami feel because you guys can see it has the orange, the green throughout the top here, and even the green Nike swoosh as well. You can see the, the Air Jordan wing logo based on the side here. You can see it through here. Yes, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's not outlined or anything, so you can barely see it, but it is there. You have your humble leather Nike swoosh 
here as well. You can check out that little Soul Flight logo on the heel tab right here. It does come with this gold metal hang tag here as well. Moving to the back of the heels here, you get this nice soft leather on the back of the of the heels. Check out the medial size. Yes, you have your white panels as well and just the leather quality is just real nice throughout the entire shoe even on the side panels as well and if you guys can see you have your white midsole there is a little bit of glue stain here so quality control check it out and we're going moving on to the your iconic air jordan one outsole in orange and you do have your flat real lacing laced up to the first eyelids as well like on all air jordans going up you have this green nylon tongue with your nike air tag on the it does come with extra lacing it comes with your white lacing and also your orange lacing and it does have gold tips on the ends as well inside you have your gold lace tips and it also comes with your gold lace tips on each shoelaces and then on both the back of the tongue you can you guys can see on the right shoe on the back of the tongue you get this pull tab it says MIA and on the other left shoe it's just 305 you know definitely have a Miami feel to these shoes like I've been saying even check out the insoles you had your gold Jumpman inside the insoles and you have the state of Florida right there and I guess in the soul fly where Miami is in the on the bottom of the map and then on the left shoe as well you have that soul fly logo inside the insole and like i said you have that florida map inside with your soul fly tag right here where miami is at and then if you guys take a look at the box as well guys it's a little different if you guys can see it usually it has is a standard air jordan one box but you know the nike logo here instead of red it is orange so like I said, it's a little special treatment. So yes, these things are pretty big money. And yes, I understand exact, the right reason why for it. This is a rare shoe. I think they were said maybe 10,000 pairs from me. I don't know. Uh, it's still pretty rare. And these things, they aren't even released to the public. Most of the stuff, all backdoored. So if you want these things, you gotta pay that big money. Uh, if anyone out there, usually you guys already know, size eight, size nine, but honestly, I think every pairs pretty much the money size but if you guys didn't notice they're a size nine they did not make a size nine for whatever reason i believe there's some kind of something wrong with the production or something so the only size nine are sample pairs so there is no size nine to my knowledge so if you're size nine i'll go to a size nine and a half but anyways for these things i will say go true to size if i if i were you guys they fit just like all air jordan ones but I've been hearing rumors around these are supposed to be, you know, rumors to be officially a drop in more pairs to come. So these things will even drop, dip down more in price. We don't know. Honestly, it, it could be, it could be not. Who knows? But it's a dope shoe. It's really nice. But for the price for these things, is it worth it? Mm, that's the thing for me. Is it worth thirteen to twelve hundred dollars? I don't know guys you guys let me know i love my love for ones and, and for something like this too and just for something special like this i you know i probably prefer more the different other shoes to be honest you know are these better than the unions i don't know you guys you guys tell me i don't know because these are going about almost the same price so quality wise material wise look wise is it better i don't know man i probably still prefer the unions by far haven't yet to wear these yet, man. I'm, I'm waiting for like going to sneaker con somewhere in Cali. So these things, man, I, they, I, man, they cool, man. They, they really, really nice. Big money, like I said, is it worth it? Mm, can't justify it. I don't know, man. You guys let me know. But on feet, man, these things look really dope. And it's just the quality wise, it's still pretty great and everything, but, and even leather, leather quality wise, is it even better than Shadow Backboards? To my, in my opinion, no, it really isn't. Bam. So I, like I said, I just think these is, these are even better in my opinion. So I don't know. It, it does have a little bread. Look at it. If you guys see, it has a little bread toe look to it, Shadow Backboard look to it, but has a little greenness. The orange is a little bit more, it's definitely more brighter. But overall, man, if you guys like the shoe, I'm not here to knock it. If it, it's, it's whatever you're willing to pay. So if you're willing to pay for it, I, you know, that's, that'd be great. And these things look great on feet as well. So anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, guys. Let me know what y'all think about these Soulfly, Air Jordan 1 Soulflies, man. They also have two 
two uh, soul flies. They had these and they had the friends and families. So it was basically all pent leather. It was black and has a little bit of that green and orange. Uh, I, out of that pack, I believe these are better. So I like the leather quality. I, I don't compare to a pent leather for, you know, for something like that. I mean, I do like pent leather on ones, but compared to for like a tumble leather, this is much more better. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, guys. If you guys don't mind, please hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you're first time here. Comment down below, and please hit that bell for all the notifications for when I do drop video, guys. All right, I'm Jumpman Chris. Peace.